Hello and good afternoon. I am recording a solution for Catalina Foothills um, Geometry Chapter 6 review. Let's see, so we are asked to find a QV here in this picture since it's a parallelogram. Again, it has two sets of parallel lines. Two sets of parallel lines. Okay. So our QV here and the TU here are the congruent, and then this one and this one are congruent and parallel. So pretty easy here, QV is equal to TU, which is equal to five centimeters. Right. Our next one here, once again, um, there's a one set here that's congruent and parallel, congruent and parallel here. So we have, uh, let's see, we were told that Vs is equal to three uh, inches. The, the diagonals are bisecting each other at the center point here. So our QV is equal to Vs, um, in this case it's three inches. It's a pretty easy one as well. We are asking for a QV here. Now here we have a parallelogram with 190 degrees. So this set is parallel and equal, parallel and equal. Since there's a 90 degree here, we have a rectangle uh, over here. So we have um, QV is going to equal to XU. The two diagonals are the same and bisecting as well. So since this is two, uh, that gives us two meters here. So the XU is equal to four meters here, which is equal to QV. All right, move on to next one. We have our parallelograms here. Let's see, we have this line parallel to this line here. And if you were to extend it out, um, you can see this angle they're looking for. There's two pairs, this one and this one, are actually alternating interior angles, which means 2x is equal to 4x minus 40. Um, we can solve this one pretty easily from there. Uh, let's take a look at what we have here. We have uh, two parallel lines that's equal. This one is equal to this one, this one is equal to this one. Um, so if we were to... Uh, draw a diagonal line here, you'll see that this triangle, the upper triangle here, is congruent to the lower triangle. The reason is that we have S, S, S. We have three sides. So therefore, corresponding angles is the same. So 3x is going to be equal to 2x plus 33 degrees. Uh, from here, you can solve. This one is a special case of uh, trapezoid. Trapezoid, as you remember, only have one pair of parallel lines. Um, this side is congruent, but they're not parallel. So here you have um, uh, isosceles trapezoid with the property of uh, diagonal lines is equal to each other. Um, if we were trying to prove this one, let me think, uh, this one is parallel, so this angle equal to this angle, and um, this angle here is equal to this angle here. So as you can see, this triangle, this triangle ADB is congruent to triangle uh, let's see, EDB, I started with A here, so that'd be A, uh, B, uh, C, A. Okay. So here, then we have corresponding part of uh, congruent triangles are congruent, so therefore AC is equal to DB. From here, you have a equation to solve, which is 7x minus 15 equal to 4x plus 15. So those are pretty easy, simple so far, all right?